Something unknown is targeting Earth with powerful energy beams every 44 minutes like clockwork. NASA confirms the signal is real, but scientists are completely baffled. This is the kind of insane cosmic mystery that would make Joe Rogan's head explode with theories. It's a perfect rhythm from the void, a deliberate pulse. We are officially on notice from the universe. Deep in the Australian outback, far from the lights of any city, giant metal dishes are pointed at the sky. They are part of a huge telescope array called the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder, or ASCAP for short. You see, their job is to listen. They listen to the quiet, static hiss of the universe, searching for faint whispers from distant stars and galaxies. For the most part, the work is slow and steady, charting the cosmos and building a map of the heavens. But then, out of nowhere, right when things seem normal, they picked up something that made them all sit up and pay attention. It was a burst of energy, a sudden pulse of radio waves from a dark patch of sky. This kind of thing can happen. The universe is a noisy place, but what was really going on was far stranger. The signal lasted for two minutes, and then it vanished. The astronomers made a note of it and kept watching. And then, it happened again. Exactly 44 minutes later, like a perfectly timed alarm clock, another two-minute pulse of energy came from the exact same spot. And then again, 44 minutes after that. This changes everything. This wasn't random noise. This was a pattern. This was a signal. The astronomers had stumbled upon a cosmic lighthouse. A lighthouse is a tower that sends out a beam of light. And as it spins, that beam sweeps across the sea. From a boat far away, you don't see a constant light. You see a flash every time the beam points directly at you. The thing is, that's exactly what this object was doing, but with radio waves. It was spinning, and every 44 minutes, its beam of energy swept across Earth. What nobody talks about enough is just how weird that 44-minute timing is. Scientists know about objects called pulsars that do this, but they spin incredibly fast, flashing every few seconds or even milliseconds. An object that takes 44 minutes to spin and send out a pulse was something that many thought was impossible. It was too long, too slow. It broke the rules of what they thought they knew. They gave the mystery object a name, a kind of cosmic address. ASCAP J1832-0911. And now, they had to figure out what in the universe it could possibly be. When you find something this strange in space, the first thing you have to do is make sure it's real. You have to be sure it's not just a problem with your telescope or some kind of interference from Earth. So, the Australian team needed someone else to look at this spot in the sky and confirm what they were seeing. They needed to call in the big guns. And in the world of astronomy, the big guns don't get much bigger than NASA. And just when you thought it couldn't get weirder, a huge stroke of luck happened. It turns out there's more to the story. By pure coincidence, one of NASA's most powerful space telescopes, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, was already pointing at the exact same patch of sky. You see, Chandra is a special kind of telescope. It doesn't see regular light like our eyes do. It doesn't even see radio waves like the ASCAP telescope does. It sees in X-rays a much more high-energy form of light. It's floating up in orbit high above Earth's atmosphere, which allows it to see these powerful cosmic events that are invisible from the ground. So the astronomers in Australia checked the data that Chandra had collected, and you won't believe what they found. Chandra had seen it too. At the exact same time the radio pulses were arriving, Chandra detected a burst of X-rays coming from the same spot. This was huge. First, it confirmed that the object was real. It wasn't a glitch. But here's the crazy part. This was the first time an object like this had ever been seen spitting out both radio waves and X-rays. This wasn't just a confirmation. It was a whole new layer to the mystery. That's when it hit them. They were looking at something truly special, something that no one had ever seen before. The object was now officially classified as a long period transient, or LPT. This is a very rare and extreme type of object. In fact, Scientists have only ever catalogued 10 of them in total. 
And this one was the strangest of them all. Suddenly everything made sense. The reason it was so hard to explain was because it was part of a brand new class of cosmic wonders. Just when you think you've wrapped your head around the sheer weirdness of ASCAP J1832-0911, the story plunges into even deeper and more baffling territory. The discovery of a rhythmic, dual-energy pulse from the void was just the beginning. The real mind-bender, the part that has astronomers tearing up their old textbooks, isn't just that the object is flash in its, that according to our best understanding of the universe, it should be dead silent. Scientists have a name for the place where objects like this are supposed to go quiet. They call it the Pulsar Death Valley. And this mysterious object is sitting right in the middle of it, broadcasting its presence for all to see. To understand why this is so impossible, you have to know a little more about how pulsars work. Think of them as cosmic spinning tops, left over from the violent explosions of massive stars. These incredibly dense neutron stars have powerful magnetic fields that shoot beams of energy out into space. As they spin, these beams sweep across the cosmos, and if one of them happens to flash across Earth, we see a pulse. But here's the thing. Like any spinning top, they eventually slow down. Over millions, or even billions of years, their rotation winds down, and as they slow, their magnetic fields weaken, and the engine that powers their energy beams begins to fail. Eventually, they slow down so much they can no longer generate these radio waves. They cross a theoretical death line, entering the Pulsar Death Valley, where they are expected to become silent, invisible stellar corpses. Most known pulsars spin at incredible speeds, flashing every few seconds or even milliseconds. The slowest ones we've found, the ones right at the edge of this death line, still pulse every few minutes. But 44 minutes? That's not just slow, it's practically glacial in cosmic terms. An object rotating this slowly simply shouldn't have the rotational energy left to power the bright radio and X-ray signals that the telescopes in Australia and the Chandra Observatory detected. It's like finding a spinning top that's barely moving, yet is somehow still glowing and humming with power. This isn't just a new kind of star, it's a cosmic zombie. It's an object that, by all accounts, should be dormant and invisible, yet it's defiantly blasting out a signal that screams, I'm still here. This fact alone forces us to question our fundamental understanding of how these stellar remnants age and die. And if that wasn't enough to make your head spin, there's the energy conundrum. When the astronomers looked at the X-ray data from NASA's Chandra telescope, they found another piece of the puzzle that made everything even more confusing. Yes, there were X-rays confirming the object was a high-energy beast, but the amount of energy in those X-rays was surprisingly small compared to the usual suspects, like a full-blown magnetar or a dramatic binary star system feeding off its partner. The X-ray flashes from ASCAP J1832-0911 were just a tiny fraction of what they expected to see. This is a massive paradox. The object is somehow powerful enough to defy the pulsar death line, generating a signal that we can detect from thousands of light years away. Yet, at the same time, it seems to be incredibly efficient or strangely weak, releasing far less energy in the X-ray spectrum than our models predict for the kind of object that could perform such a feat. It's like discovering a car that can break the land speed record while having the fuel efficiency of a scooter. The two facts just don't add up. This isn't the violent, chaotic outburst of a typical magnetar. It's something more controlled, more focused, it suggests that whatever is powering this cosmic lighthouse, it's an engine unlike any we have ever encountered. It's not just about a slow spin, it's about a whole new process of energy generation that is somehow both powerful and strangely reserved. So the hunt is on. This is now a full-blown galactic detective story. Astronomers are now pointing even more powerful instruments, like the Meerkat Telescope in South Africa, at that one specific patch of sky. They are trying to catch the object in the act again, but this time, they're looking for more subtle clues. They are searching in different wavelengths of light, hoping to spot something they missed before. 
Is there a faint unseen companion star locked in an orbital dance with our mystery object? And now, the biggest question of all was hanging in the air. What could possibly create a signal like this? What in the universe could it be? With the discovery confirmed by NASA, the real detective work began. Scientists around the world started to come up with ideas, or theories, to explain the mysterious signals from ASCAP J1832-0911. What was really going on was a process of elimination, starting with what they already knew. The first thing they thought of was a pulsar. But let's not forget, this was clearly not a normal pulsar. A regular pulsar is the leftover core of a giant star that has exploded. It's an object called a neutron star, and it is one of the strangest things in the universe. Imagine taking a star bigger than our sun and crushing it down until it's the size of a city. It's so dense that a single teaspoon of it would weigh billions of tons. These neutron stars spin incredibly fast, sometimes hundreds of times per second, and they shoot out beams of energy from their poles. As they spin, these beams sweep across space like a lighthouse, and we see them as regular pulses. But the key is that they are fast flashing every few seconds at most. The 44-minute period of the new object meant it couldn't be a normal pulsar. So, this is where it gets wild. Scientists moved on to more extreme theories. The first big idea was that it could be a special type of neutron star called a magnetar. You won't believe how powerful these things are. A magnetar is a type of dead star with the most powerful magnetic fields in the entire universe, trillions of times stronger than the magnets on your fridge. This incredibly strong magnetic field could, in theory, act like a break, slowing down the star's spin over millions of years until it reached a long period like 44 minutes. This theory was promising because it could explain the powerful energy bursts. But there was a problem. Even the magnetar theory didn't fully explain what the astronomers were seeing. For a magnetar to slow down this much, it would have to be incredibly old. And if it were that old, it probably shouldn't have enough energy left to produce the bright radio waves and X-rays they were detecting. It was a good idea, but the puzzle pieces didn't quite fit. So they moved on to the next theory. What if it wasn't one star, but two? This idea involves a pair of stars orbiting each other what's called a binary system. The theory is that one of the stars is a highly magnetized white dwarf. You see, a white dwarf is the zombie star left over when a smaller star, like our sun, dies. It's the collapsed core, and it can also have a strong magnetic field. The idea is that this white dwarf could be stealing material from its partner star, and this process could somehow create the regular bursts of energy. But again, the models didn't quite work. The 44-minute timing was still very hard to explain. Even the best theories the scientists had couldn't fully solve the mystery. And that's what made Andy Wang, the lead scientist on the discovery, say that this could point to a whole new type of physics. Now, when scientists are stumped and the best theories don't quite fit, that's when things get really interesting. This is where the world of pure speculation begins. It's the kind of cosmic mystery that podcasters and thinkers like Joe Rogan love to dive into, asking the big what-if questions that go beyond the accepted science. What if the explanation isn't one of the usual suspects? What if it's something truly strange? The first and most obvious wild theory is, of course, aliens. Could this signal be artificial? What nobody talks about in the official science papers, but what everyone thinks about, is whether this could be a message from an intelligent civilization. The thing is, the signal is incredibly regular. A perfect clock, ticking every 44 minutes. Could it be a beacon, designed to get our attention? Maybe it's a cosmic hello from across the galaxy. This is where Joe Rogan would jump in, talking with experts about the Drake equation and the probability of other intelligent life in the universe. He would explore the idea that maybe we are not alone and this signal is the first real evidence. And just when you thought it couldn't get weirder, other, even more fantastic ideas come to mind. Some people have speculated about alien megastructures. What if an advanced civilization was building something huge, like a Dyson sphere, around its star to capture all of its energy? Maybe the regular pulses we see 
are some kind of energy exhaust from this massive construction project, a rhythmic puff of smoke from a cosmic factory. It sounds like science fiction, but when you have a mystery this deep, all ideas are on the table. But let's not forget the new physics angle that the scientists themselves mentioned. And if that wasn't enough, it gets even deeper. What if this object is a gateway to understanding something new about the universe itself? Maybe our theories about magnetism are incomplete. Maybe there's a new type of star, a magnetic zombie star, that we've never even imagined before. The truth nobody expected is that this single, strange object could literally rewrite the textbooks. It could be a sign that there are fundamental forces and objects in the universe that we don't even have words for yet. And then there's the darkest, most speculative theory of all. What if the signal is a warning, a countdown, a cosmic alarm bell telling us about some impending event? This is pure sci-fi territory, of course, but the regularity of the signal makes the idea compelling in a spooky way. It's these kinds of mind-bending possibilities that make this discovery so thrilling. It's a giant question mark hanging in the cosmos, inviting us to wonder, to speculate, and to dream about what might be out there. The mystery continues. We have a mysterious object, billions of miles away, sending out a perfectly timed pulse of radio waves and X-rays every 44 minutes. We have two main scientific theories, supermagnetic dead star, or a weird pair of orbiting stars, but neither of them perfectly fits the evidence. And we have a universe of wild possibilities, from alien lighthouses to brand new physics. This changes everything because it reminds us just how little we actually know about the universe. For every question scientists answer, the cosmos asks 10 new ones. Discoveries like ASCAP J1832-0911 are so exciting because we don't understand them. They are clues to a deeper puzzle. They challenge our assumptions and force us to think in new ways. What's really going on now is a global effort to solve this mystery. Astronomers from all over the world are turning their most powerful telescopes towards this strange object. They will be listening for more signals, studying them in different wavelengths of light, and trying to gather more data. Each new piece of information could be the key that unlocks the secret. The thing is, the answer could be anything. It might turn out to be a new and exciting variation of a magnetar that finally makes the models work. Or it could be something so completely new and unexpected that it opens up a whole new field of astronomy. And while the chances are incredibly small, there will always be that tiny, thrilling possibility that it could be something artificial. For now, ASCAP J1832-0911 remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in the sky, a cosmic heartbeat that keeps scientists and the rest of us looking up and wondering. A cosmic ghost is breaking the rules of physics, pulsing every 44 minutes. What is this impossible object? Leave your theory below, then like and subscribe for more.